Hello and welcome to the show. Today is part two of our ice climbing tips where we're finding out from mountain guide Isabel Santois what to bring in your ice climbing bag. Okay, so we're all dressed up and ready to go, but first things first, let's talk about what we need for our ice climbing adventure today. Do you want to talk us about so, yeah, crampons I, to start with? Yeah, ideally the crampons you want are the crampons for specifically designed for ice climbing, and they have a different pick. They have a pick that is, that is vertical compared to a pick that is horizontal. Can you see? So this one, yeah. so, so this, this, is amount, this is more mountaineering crampons because it bites on the, on the snow. Whereas these ones, the, the points are more forward, and then they are, they are the, the fact that they're vertical, they don't break the ice the same way as the other would. They penetrate in yeah. to the ice a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. So these, so these style crampons would be okay um, for the most old. mountaineering things. Yeah. So if you've got something like that, it's okay for the first couple of times maybe, and then if you get into it, you might want to buy something like this. What about ice screws? How many do we need? What different sizes? Um, it depends on the route you're going to climb, but I'll have about eight, eight ice screws. I'll go for less of the short ones, and I'll definitely have two or three of the long ones, and then, then you just mix and match. There's, a, there's, a, there's five different lengths of them. So yeah. eight is normally a, a good number. And uh, what about ice axes? We've got a couple of different types here. Uh, they're both really good for ice climbing. Yeah. Um, this one is more of an all-round uh, ice axe that you can use in the mountains as well uh, because you can also use as a as an ice pick. This one has got, a, it's a different, the weight is a bit different and also you, the way you grab the, the ice axe is different. So it's a, it's a different motion. So if you're starting, maybe this motion, maybe this is a bit too much to start with. This is more for when it's really steep and a bit overhanging. Maybe you start off with an ice axe like that and it's yeah. more versatile. Yeah. But it's well worth trying both. Obviously we've, we need a harness. Is there any, anything different about an ice climbing harness? What you want on, on a climbing harness is you want definitely a few loops at the back for all your, your, your gear. But you, know, you also want a nice climbing hook. If you can choose yeah. one, I would choose for a nice climbing hook so you can actually clip in easily your... That's it's, a loop that's on the harness. Yeah, that's already designed on the and harness. And then this is like a plastic clip that you yeah. you can rack your screws on, basically. So obviously we take quick draws if you're going to be leading the route. Yeah. And the normal belay plate. You need a lot of screw gates because you want you always want to be making the belays on 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 locking carabiners. So this is not a screw gate, but it's an automatic locker. I always climb with a cow's tail, so it's a bit of rope that I've cut from one of my ropes. And I use it as a cow's tail, and it's always ready on my harness, so I, if I have to stop, then I can just clip in. Anything special about this helmet? These just helmets are made of foam. They're designed from the cycling, I guess, industry, so it's a one-hit type yeah. helmet. They're less robust than the other plastic ones, yeah. but it's more sexy and lighter, light, lighter to wear. Yeah. And obviously a bag to carry everything around in, but anything special about this one? Uh, this one, what's great is that you can have your rope ready at the back, inside, um, but when you go mountaineering, it's just easy to use and light. And what's the most important piece of kit? <laughs> nice almost. pot of coffee. <laughs> Thanks, Isa, and check back next time when we're looking at ice climbing technique. That's all from today's show. We'll see you next time.